Hey, it's um, FunkyPencil.com. Coming to you with a, a video tutorial on perspective drawing. Um, you've probably been to the website and seen some of my stuff on there, so I'm going to show you how you can actually draw uh, a few of the things that's featured on my site. One of which is this easy chair. Um, it's all done in single point perspective, and uh, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Okay, but before, before we go into any of that, what do you need? Well, the first thing you're going to need is some paper. And uh, I would recommend you use layout paper. Now, you probably can't see this on, that, on the background. But if I was to put that drawing, just showed you a second ago, you can actually see, you might just be able to pick it up on a camera, just about see the actual outline of the chair underneath it. And that's the advantage of using layout paper in that you can use it to do overlays and overlays and overlays. Uh, which you know stops you from having to use a rubber um, to actually uh, produce your drawings. So layer paper, you can get that from Dala or Dela, however you're not sure how you say it. Dela, um, Dela layer paper. And uh, there's probably other people out there that do it as well. Um, what else do you need? Well, pencil, 2B pencil. If I can pick up the right one, 2B pencil would be good. Uh, or even a HB, anything like that, anything that you fancy with, really, anything that you're comfortable with. Um, those will get you your construction lines. And then, once you've actually drawn uh, your outlines, you can then ink in with uh, a pen of some sort. Uh, the type I use is uh, done by Stadler, Stadler Mars. I'll just show it a bit close to the camera. And these are permanent uh, Luma color, and they come in a super fine tip. So you can do all your fine line work with that. Um, and then, once you've done your fine line work, you then use, I'll get the right pen up, the medium, which is designated here by the letter M. And uh, that will give you those nice black hard uh, shadow shapes that I've got here on this chair. So, that's it. That's the sort of thing that, those are the things that you need. Oh, wait a minute, no, there isn't. There is actually more, there is more. Um, I always use what's called a set square. Now, I find these, it's a little bit like a hand in glove, you know, once you start using, getting used to using these things, they're so easy to use, you, you, they balance really well when you hold it by this, uh, by this knob here, and it's, it's uh, they call it a set square, but in actual fact it's a protractor, so by unscrewing that knob you can adjust it and you can do various angles once you set it up on your, uh, your drawing surface. But I just use it just to hold in that sort of fashion to draw my lines. Now, one of the things that you, ne you need to do first off when you're starting your drawing is you need to set your drawing up reasonably level. And I always do this on, on a table. And if I'm drawing on a, a pad, I set up a, uh, a well, basically it's like, um, it's about 24 inch long, two, two foot long um, plastic ruler and that is acting as my straight edge. What I do is I tape that down and then once my paper is also taped down I can then draw vertical lines by placing my set square on the, the plastic ruler. By moving it backwards and forwards or rather left and right I'm able to draw vertical lines very true with each other as they move along the parallel motion. Once I've done that, I'm able to then use the set square to then position the lines that I want for drawing my perspectives. So that, that's really handy to use, if you can use one of these, it's, uh, it'll really help you out. Okay, so the next thing you need is some tape. Tape down your paper, tape down your four corners, and then you're ready to do your first drawing. So in my next video, I'll, uh, I'll show you how to basically set up uh, the shot for producing this perspective here, of this chair. Catch you later.